my channel. Today we're going to answer some questions about eyelash extension. These questions are questions that you've asked in the past and I haven't gotten a chance to answer just yet. If you have additional questions, comment below and I'll make sure to help you as much as I can. How do I get the mega volume easy fanning eyelashes to have more of a V-shaped base compared to a square base? That is a great question. So I will demonstrate that actually hands on so you can see how to achieve that. For the mega volume eyelashes, if you want to fan them and you don't want the base to look bulky, you want to make sure if you're using a 0.7 millimeter, which is on the thicker side for the volume, you don't want to get too many. Anytime you get too many for your fan, for example, like this one, no matter how much I fan them out, you see the base looks bulky and square and this is probably what some of you are doing um, for the person that had the question how do you make the base not look so square instead of to look more like a V or pointy and delicate so the main thing is if you're using a 0.7 thickness you don't want to grab too many you only want to grab a few probably like five or six the most in your fan okay so you can um, properly fan it out for example this is four and they still look nice and delicate and pointy at the base so it doesn't look clumpy or too thick so let's try that again let's say i want to grab a little bigger fan so i'm gonna grab that many that's what one two three four five six so this is a 60 so it's okay to grab a 60 with a 0.7 there we go and that looks a lot more delicate than the first one now if you want to grab more and you want to have more hairs within your fan so it could look wider and fluffier make sure you're using the thinner one so either the 0.5 or 0.03 So the trick is not to grab too many so your fans can look nice and delicate. Ellipse lashes. Are they better than other lashes and are they used for classic or volume? Well, Ellipse lashes are not necessarily better or worse than any other lashes. The main difference between a regular eyelash and an ellipse eyelash is the base of it. If you look at the diagram here, you'll be able to tell that a regular lash has a round base versus the ellipse lash has more of a oval-like shape, which is actually called an ellipse shape. And they are also known to be flat eyelashes. So some people actually sometimes think the ellipse lashes or these flat eyelashes bond better with the natural eyelash because they are flat and they can kind of sit better on the natural lash. But in reality, it's all in your head <laughs> in a way. So in reality, the eyelash extensions will bond as good to the natural eyelash based on um, the way you apply it and the adhesive that you use. Second part to that ellipse question, is it used for classic or volume? So I wanna remind you guys that you can use any eyelash extension style line brand for either classic or volume if they come in the thickness used for classic or volume. So the rule of thumb generally is if anything is thinner than 0.10 for the thickness, then you, that's for volume. And anything is 0.10 and higher, it's normally for classic. One more thing about ellipse eyelashes is again, if you look at the diagram, you can see it has a little split end. So when you're using these eyelashes, even for a classic style, and you're using only one um, extension on top of one of the natural eyelash, you still get a little bit more of a wispy look or a fluffy look. So that's kind of the benefit also for using the ellipse eyelashes with classic sets. Next question is, how do I get better retention? Do you recommend any specific glues? So retention, it has to do again with the glue you're using, but also the way you're applying. So if, even if you're using the best glue ever and you're not applying the extension on top of the natural eyelash properly, your retention won't be good. A second reason why sometimes retention is not good is because initially people are not putting on enough eyelash extensions on the natural eyelashes for them to last long. For example, if 
every day we shed one to five eyelashes and you're only putting about 20 extensions on the natural eyelashes and we lose about five a day in like four days the client's not gonna have any eyelash extensions left and <laughs> that's all over the video <laughs> where did it go it's literally did you see it anyways like i was saying retention has to do with the glue you're using how many lashes you're applying on the client's natural eyelashes to start with and how you're applying them how you're bonding the extension to the natural eyelash so the moral of the story is make sure you're putting on a lot of eyelash extensions to start with by a lot i mean try to put it on every single one of the client's natural eyelashes of course mine is the very very baby hairs that look too weak to hold an extension but of course if i had to recommend a glue i would recommend the yegi premium glue if you're doing eyelashes and you're not super fast at it just yet and if you are working really fast already i would recommend the yegi mega hold glue because the mega hold glue is a one second glue so it works really really well if you're pretty um, quick at application if you're not that quick it won't do you a favor with retention but rather the premium glue would work better because that's like a two second glue so it would work better for you for retention if you're a little slower next question is how do i properly isolate and that i have to demonstrate how to properly isolate we want to make sure we're using both of our tweezers and fishing through the client's natural eyelashes and getting only one natural eyelash between our tweezers it may be difficult at first just to do it with one hand just like that and that was a very baby lash we don't want to apply on that by the way we want to apply on the longer eyelashes and we can use our other hand to get an eyelash in between our curved tweezers just like that now continue to watch me isolate a few eyelashes in order to watch and learn So the following question is how do I improve my lashing time so in other words how do I get faster at applying lashes so normally a full set should take about two hours and a, a fill should take about an hour and same for classic and volume it should take you about the same volume might take you a little bit longer but on average two hours for a full set one hour for a fill the way i teach my students to speed up their application time is by actually timing themselves something happens subconsciously is when you see a clock ticking next to you like a timer you end up applying faster so if you really want to work on your time go ahead and put a timer to do your set and slowly you can decrease that timer and you'll be able to do a full set and you'll be able to do more lashes on the client's natural eyelashes in less time the second part to that question is everybody's natural eyelashes are different their lash count is different so some people may have more or less natural eyelashes how do i know how many to apply so like i mentioned before you want to apply on almost every single of their natural eyelashes that's how they're gonna last long and give you very good results now if somebody has very very little eyelashes and you've applied on every single one of the eyelashes and you triple check that you've applied on every single one of their natural eyelashes and you're done in one hour then you're done there isn't much more you can do and vice versa if somebody has a lot of eyelashes and you've spent two good hours applying as many ever as you can then I would recommend that's kind of where you stop. I wouldn't keep going more than two hours because also clients get very antsy if they're laying there for more than that. So maybe the most two and a half hours if they have a lot of eyelashes, but they will get a good amount of eyelash extensions where you don't have to count to make sure that you put, I don't know, five or 10 or 20 or 70 and um, your client will be happy. So I recommend instead of counting how many you're doing is try 
to work on your speed by, by putting a timer to force yourself to go kind of faster when you're applying and then after that just give your full two hours for a full set and one hour for a fill to your client and apply as many ever as you can and um they'll be happy and that's what we've been doing at our salons that's what i've been teaching people and it's been working so give it a try see how you like it following question is what is my opinion on pre-made fans versus handmade fans so pre-made fans are a lot more in cost handmade fans you can save money making the fans yourself with pre-made fans all the fans are exactly the same and uniform within that tray versus the handmade fans you can really customize it and make the look of the handmade fans how you want you can have some of them in smaller fans some of them in wider fans to get a different effect for the client someone asked how do you recommend we clean the uh, silicone lash holder so honestly the best way to clean it is with soap and water a quick answer for you but I personally don't really like using it because it can look dirty really easily and it's not really presentable for your um, clients so I personally prefer to use the magnetic lash holder instead how do you apply eyelash extensions on the left eye if you're right-handed what's the easiest way so for me what I recommend is I tilt the head a little bit to the right so then the left eye is more directly in front of me then it's easier for me to apply if that doesn't work I kind of shift my chair a little bit to the side so then I'm um, kind of diagonal or in the corner of the bed and that's when I lash and it makes it easier for me to do the left eye this technique also helps if you're doing corners so the inner corners and outer corners how to make a wispy look with classic eyelashes the best way to do a classic set and have it look wispy for the client is to mix in some shorter and longer lengths in between your regular mapping and if that's confusing i will show you the example of how i like to map a classic set for it to look wispy for this example i'm going to show you guys how to map the eyelashes for classic style however still getting a wispy look since that was the question somebody asked so first we're going to pick a short medium and a long length and for this example i'm going to use 10 12 and 14. it is okay to skip one size in between the 10 and the 12 and then the 12 and the 14. next i'm going to pick a shape that i want to do my style on and I'm going to use a round shape or a doll eye. Third, I'm going to go ahead and mix in two millimeter shorter and two millimeter longer lashes in between my short, medium and long lengths. And that's going to give me this wispy look. So I'm going to add eight between the size 10 in the outer and inner corners of the eyelashes. And this is going to give that little area, a little wispy look. Then in the midsection, next to the 10 millimeter, where I would normally put the 12 millimeter, I'm gonna mix in some 10s in between the 12. And that's gonna give it that wispy look around the 10 um, and 12 midsection. And in the very center, I'm gonna mix in 12s with the 14s. So this is generally how the mapping would look for a classic wispy look and this is kind of for like a medium length overall if a client wants something not too long not too short thank you so much for watching please like subscribe comment do all that fun stuff and also if you like to learn more about eyelash extensions please remember we do offer eyelash training check out our website at yegibeauty.com we also have online options demonstrate what an ellipse eyelash looks like. Bring me a sausage. <laughs> Kids, don't try this at home. I just want to really demonstrate what an ellipse eyelash is. Oh, I need to go upstairs. first. Because wait, I'm already holding it, right? Okay. So, a regular eyelash has a round base, right? If you are really to zoom into the eyelash and just hot dog is the eyelash, it has a round base. What an ellipse eyelash is, literally, please don't cut myself, literally the eyelash, that one whole eyelash, this looks very dangerous. Don't do this, guys. I'm just really trying to demonstrate. Cut myself. So a real eyelash, when you are splitting it in half this way, okay, when you split it in half that way, am I doing this right? Damn. Actually, this didn't come out.
it doesn't look what I need it to look like. I don't know what happened.